Hello, my soulmates. So for the longest time, I was trying to come up with a name for my sewing friends and it hit me like a ton of bricks this morning. Soulmates just popped into my head and I was like, oh, I think that is perfect. So yes, you guys are my soulmates and I'm so happy you're here. So for today, I want to share a sewing make with you and then I do plan to go to the grocery store because I want to make an apple pie. So I want to pick up a few ingredients for that. In my last video, I was in Chicago and I was doing a little bit of fabric shopping. I picked up some fabric to make a coat with. At the time, I did not have a pattern in mind, but since then I've decided on a pattern. It's a Berta pattern and I had to order it on Etsy and I actually really love it. I don't think it's gonna be hard to make. It doesn't have a whole lot of details. From what I can remember, there are big pockets there's a fold over collar and then there are a couple of buttons. So I think it should be fairly simple to do. I still am not at home. So I'm still out and about and having a great time. And oh, I wanted to mention something about fabric scraps. So I found another way that you can use fabric scraps and this was just by happenstance. So not too long ago when we, my husband and I were traveling, we had our carry-on luggage on the airplane and it was a couple rolls up in front of us above, you know how you put your luggage up above, but it wasn't directly over our seat. Well, as we were getting ready to get off the plane, there was a guy that stood up and he grabbed our luggage on the way out and he was just walking down the aisle on his way out and he had our luggage and just so happened my husband noticed and so he had to get the guy's attention and the guy came back and put our luggage back. But geez, had my husband not noticed, that guy would have been off with our luggage and that would have been the end of it. So I was like, oh my goodness, I never thought to put anything around the carry-on luggage. I know or have before in the past put things on our luggage if we were gonna stow it away, but not if we were carrying it on. I figured, you know, okay, it's with us, so no need. But since then, I use fabric scraps and I took some fabric scraps and wrapped it and tied it around the carry-on luggage this time so that, you know, if anybody were to look up and see our luggage they would say okay that's not ours so i thought oh that's something i can share so yes let's go ahead and get this day started grocery store that I just left was called Meyer, and it was so big so I wasn't in there that, that long I got what I needed and I came right out I am wearing my sewing make which is like this cape kind of like jacket type thing and I hope you can see it I actually really love this 
I purchased the fabric from Joann Fabrics. It is like a Sherpa fabric and it does have some stretch to it. And my machine did not go through this fabric very easily. I did use my serger for most of the seams and I made sure that I used a heavy duty needle. And then I also made sure that I lengthened my stitch length. You know, like the stitches so it won't be so close together. So I spread everything out. So that was helpful. The pattern called for top stitching around the edge, but there was no way. I tried it, but no, it was just too thick to do that. So I just opted to leave that off. And then also there is a facing that goes around the neck and the front and the facing was supposed to be top stitched down, but that didn't happen either. So what I did instead was I just hand stitched the facing to the inside of the jacket or coat. I don't know what to call it. And it's very simple. It doesn't have any button closures or anything like that no pockets which i wish it did have but no it doesn't have any pockets so last night we were playing a game apples to apples which is one of my favorite games and the adjective that i had was excited and the nouns that i had in my hand three of them that i got down to were babies sports channels and olympics and i had to decide which was the most exciting between those three and I sat at the table and pondered over those three for so long. I could not figure out which of those three was most exciting. So anyway, I never really did decide. What I decided to do instead was I shuffled the cards in my hands and then I blindly just pulled one because I was like, I cannot decide. There's a tie between all three of these. What would you have chosen between babies, sports channels, and what did I say the other one was? Baby sports channels and Olympics, yes. So anyway, what I ended up pulling blindly was Olympics. Okay, so I am done with my pie. It is actually in the oven right now. I have someone watching it for me and I decided I would take this time while the pie is in the oven to run to Joanne because they have a pattern sale going on at Simplicity and there are a few patterns that I had on my list so I'm hoping that I can find them today. And let's see what else. Oh, I wanted to mention that when I was at Meyer, I could not find the pie crust that I like to use. So I ended up picking up one that's gluten free. And I have no idea how this gluten free pie crust is going to turn out. So yes, I will have to let you know what it tastes like. Okay, so let me go in here, get these patterns. It's raining. So I have to grab my umbrella, my purse, my mask. Have to get it. Okay, 
Okay, so I was able to get every pattern that I wanted and there were three. So let me share those. I got a zipper too because I bought some fabric and the patterns that I picked up are Simplicity 9180. I like the skirt. Well, they're all skirts. But yeah. Oh, somebody's calling me. The second pattern that I picked up is Simplicity 8944. And I like View C. I can actually see myself lengthening that one and making it kind of go down a little more to the ankles. But I like that. And then the last one is Simplicity 8848. And I actually saw Viv Mom make this one. And I like the pants, the length on the pants. And I thought, huh, that might be cute in denim. That's that. And then for the fabric, I like corduroy. Well, I like woven, period. But I saw this corduroy that I thought was really pretty. It's like a a bluish gray kind of color smoky looking color and I thought that was really nice I don't really know what I want to make with it but I was kind of thinking possibly a jumpsuit so I picked up the zipper just in case because the pattern that I'm thinking about does call for a zipper in the front and the zipper didn't really match that much but I think it it can pass so that is all and I have to stop at the store that's what that call was about and then I will go and check on the pie so today is travel day for me I will be heading back to California in a couple of hours oh let me spread this around so I have actually been here for a long time, but my mini vacation is coming to an end. So I wanted to give you an update on the pie crust. I don't think I can give a true review because the pie crust or the pie was wrapped in foil before it had an opportunity to fully cool, cool down. And so as a result, the pie crust ended up not being as flaky as I think it may maybe would have been if it hadn't have been covered up. So what I did was I ended up making another pie with this pie crust and it came out much better. Came out the way that you know I felt like it should have turned out the first time. So yes I just wanted to follow up with that because I didn't want to leave you hanging on the pie crust. But, you know, if you've tried it before, you like it, maybe it's good. It wasn't that it was bad or nasty. It's just that it wasn't as flaky and it could have been a lot better to me. It made the pie just like so-so. Mm, but we ate it. We ate it anyway. So, yes, like I said, I am on my way back to California. So, I am about to pack up my clothes and be on my way to what feels like the other side of the world. Take me out to California. Take me out to California. I feel the day. Good is evening, everyone. To Welcome an aboard. End. And my eyes are drawn to southern skies. And all the while. I was trying to pretend The promised land was there beyond the great divide So we got back home around midnight and I got home, I started unpacking, I started washing clothes and I even started working on my coat that I want to make with the fabric that I purchased while I was in Chicago and before I knew it the sun was rising and I was like, oh my goodness, I actually have not been to sleep. So I don't know why I have just been so wired ever since getting home. And while I was in the middle of doing things around the house, I jumped on the computer and I was watching this tutorial 
and the lady that was doing the tutorial happened to be working on fuzzy fabric similar to this and she was using a walking foot and so I was like oh why didn't I think of that so I wanted to just share that which it was perfect timing since I was talking about this garment in this video I was like oh that's perfect so I can share that with you all that maybe if you want to work on fabric like this and you don't want it to put any pressure on your machine you could just use a walking foot so that may encourage me to work with this a little bit more or maybe I can use some scraps to test that out but I wanted to share that because I thought that was pretty interesting and I also wanted to mention that if you want to look for this fabric I call it Sherpa but I have seen on the internet that it's also referred to as Teddy fabric or either Teddy Bear fabric so you can do a search for that and then you may find it if you're looking for it all right, so before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. I hear a little dog barking. Oh, he's playing. Okay, so my love share is about a product that I learned about probably a year ago, and it is actually an attachment that goes onto your toilet, and it is a bidet. So what a bidet attachment will do is when you it has a little nozzle on the side and when you turn the nozzle water will come out of the bidet and it will touch your bottom area <laughs> you're behind you know what I mean and it will help cleanse you after you use the restroom so I knew about bidets but I did not know that you can purchase the attachment from your local hardware store and attach it right to your bathroom commode. So I thought that was so good to know.